He just took off his shirt before work. He didn't realize his employer was interested. The woman invited him to the house for a drink before work. The work was secondary. Then she started to move her little hands. She threatened that she could save him 20 years of trouble. The man is stunned. What's going on here? He says he's a workaholic. He says he's a workaholic and doesn't do that stuff. The rich woman had never been so aggrieved. She immediately complained to the agency's boss, Sister Kim, that he didn't know how to behave. And that's when the man came to see her. He doesn't understand why his employer keeps hitting on him when his job is to pick up lawns. Kim explains that his clients are like that. What's wrong with letting you off the hook? Before he could argue, she asked him to take out a photo album from her drawer. Turns out it's full of handsome guys. Kim explained that they were all his employees, including the guy's neighbors, apart from the men. All of them earn over $10,000 a month. The guy got upset and opted out immediately. Sister Jean doesn't mind at all. It's hard to find a five-legged toad, but two-legged men are everywhere. The man's name is Xiaoshui and he's a college student. He and his mother and sister moved to the local town three days ago, and sister Kim is their neighbor, to welcome Xiaoshui's family. She even gave them a small gift. That's when she noticed Shui. During our conversation, we learned that Jin's husband had died young. In order to make a living, she opened an agency in the town. She specializes in helping poor college students to find jobs. Sister Jean was like a beacon of light, because Xiao Shui's father died a long time ago. The burden of the family fell on his mother's shoulders alone. If Sister Jean could find a job for a man, it would certainly help the family. Sister Jean continued to introduce the work was simple and well paid. Within a year, all of her employees were driving sports cars. Although on the surface, Xiao Shui did not agree. But when he came to school, he asked about his classmates who made money with Sister Kim. They told him not to worry. He had realized his wealth in just one year. Indeed, this job is too important to Xiao Shui. That day, just after school, Xiao Shui knocked on Sister Jin's door. He begged her to arrange a job for him. Sister Jin didn't open her mouth, but asked Xiao Shui to drink a glass of wine and then talk about it. With a few sips of wine, the atmosphere became more and more ambiguous. The two of them talked more and more, as if they were lovers who hadn't seen each other for a long time. After three rounds of drinking, Jean accidentally wet her nightgown. She asked the man to undo her own clothes to change. I'm sure you've all guessed the outcome. There's no doubt that Xiao Shui got the job. Sister Jean also generously put up part of the deposit. Back home, the man couldn't wait to tell his family the good news. Soon he took the employer's business card and found the place of work. In order to work better, Xiao Shui took off his shirt. The employer was instantly interested. Instead of urging him to work, she started to move her hands. Is there such a thing as work? Xiao Shui was so scared that he ran away. When he got home, he asked Sister Jean to quit his job. Although she didn't say anything on the surface. She came to Xiao Shui's house that night and gave his mother a car. She kept disguising herself as a trustworthy neighbor. As expected, her mother took her as her best friend. The next day, she asked Xiao Shui to come to Jin's house to get the keys. Xiao Shui didn't want to accept, because his family couldn't afford the daily maintenance of the car. Everyone knew that this was a setup by Sister Jin, to get Xiao Shui to come back to work again. Soon after her sugarcoating, Xiao Shui decided to put down his face and come back to work. Sister Jin also promised to keep it a secret from his family. That night, the man got a new job. He drove his new car to the client's villa. From this point on, Xiao Shui has completely embarked on a path of no return. Obviously come to repair the plumbing, but the employer has devious thoughts. The woman told me that there were many bad things about her house. Xiao Shui didn't say anything but took off his shirt and got ready to work. That night, he helped the woman fix the sofa and bed. In short, all the furniture was refurbished. The next day, Kim pays him well and hands out the next client's card. With this salary, the man gave his mother a necklace. He was a good boy in front of his family. He didn't suspect where the money came from. The night came unexpectedly. The host came home early from a business trip. When she heard the noise, the woman panicked. She she told Xiao Shui to hide in the wardrobe. When Xiao Shui finished cleaning up the scene and entered the wardrobe, the woman also immediately pretended to read a book. Soon the man came upstairs with the guy. Xiao Shui was a bit panicked. While the couple were making out, the man quietly left the wardrobe and prepared to escape. But something went wrong in the panic. But that wasn't all. When he got home, his mother asked him why he was home so late. And she went to the school. The teacher told her that Xiao Shui's grades had dropped. The man could only say that his work had delayed his progress. But his mother had a feeling that it wasn't as simple as that. The next morning, Xiao Xiao Shui found Sister Jean and told her what happened last night. Of course, Sister Jean also knew what had happened. What made Xiao Shui angry was that he saw the owner had a gun. He thought the money was too unsafe. Sister Kim explained that she would change the client for him. But Xiao Shui, who was in shock, didn't agree. He must take some time off now. Sister Kim doesn't care that much. She immediately took out her next client. That is all you care about is your clients. I'm done. Jason! Jason!
to the school. He told his classmates about his quit. His peers thoughtfully told him to be careful. These words Xiao Shui did not take it to heart. When he was in the shower, the light suddenly went out. What's even more strange is that he was the only one left in the bathroom. Then a man suddenly appeared. He handed out the client that Xiao Shui had just rejected. The man's attitude remained the same, saying he was quitting. The man also no longer nonsense. He pressed him against the wall, took out the dagger in his hand, and threatened him to work or die. It was that simple. He had no choice but to give in again. Only then did the man let him live. On the other hand, the client that night found Sister Jean. It turned out that her husband had found the belt left behind by Xiao Shui. Now her husband wants to divorce her. But in the woman's opinion, this is all because of Xiao Shui. So she asked Sister Jean to make amends. The condition is to give her one million in cash. Otherwise, she will disclose her dirty deeds to the public. This is the first time that Sister Jean had the thought of killing someone. The woman had just received a check for millions of dollars and was ready to have fun with her boy. But when she opened it, there was a newspaper inside. The woman was confused. Suddenly, the boy's hands forcefully strangled the woman's neck. The woman took out the gun in the drawer and shot him. But in the end, the man choked her to death. Afterwards, the man covered his wounds and left the room. He found Sister Jean and hoped that she could save him. But she didn't want to do that. After all, he knew too many of her secrets. Calling the police would only put her in danger. In the end, he lost a lot of blood and didn't breathe. Then Kim hid his body in the boot. She took him to the countryside to bury him at night. Meanwhile, Xiao Shui continued to go out early and come home late. When his mother asked him what he was doing, he wouldn't tell her. So a heated argument broke out between mother and son. Feeling depressed, Xiao Shui went back to his old house. Looking at old photos, he gradually found himself. At that time, his family was poor, but at least he was happy. But what about now? Since he became an employee of Sister Jean, he has never been happy. He almost broke up with his mother, so he decided to fight back and expose Kim's hypocrisy. That day, Sister Jean called her man and asked him to come to her house to help out. Without hesitation, Xiao Shui agreed. This night, his job was to be a waiter, because the mayor would come to Sister Jin's house at night. While the two of them were muttering something, the man quietly went to Sister Jin's room and found the important notebook under the bed. Suddenly the mayor came in. The old man is no match for handsome. But Sister Jean is not jealous. She intercepted Xiao Shui with her gun and was about to leave. It turned out that the mayor was involved in the whole thing. Before leaving, he ordered Sister Jean to clean up the whole thing. And the footage of the mayor's departure was also spotted by Xiao Shui's family. The mother immediately thought of calling her son, but she didn't know that Xiao Shui had been controlled by Sister Kim in the basement and couldn't answer the phone. That's why the mother thought her son was in trouble. She sneaked into Sister Kim's room when no one was around. Luckily, mother and son were able to meet each other, but before she could save her son, the door slammed from upstairs. The mother had to put the mask back on her son. She hid behind a nearby car and waited for an opportunity to move. Soon Sister Jean came back and prepared to take Xiao Shui to the back of the hill to kill him. Suddenly, the noise from the mother's side attracted Sister Kim's attention. Handsome saw the opportunity and kicked the weapon out of his hand. Then the two women wrestled with each other. The man continued to help and handed out a screwdriver. The mother is also very powerful to pick up and stab it. Sister Kim was completely destroyed. The mother saved the man and prepared to leave this place. You have to be proud of what you've survived. Kim quietly took back her gun. Mother and son did not realize the danger was approaching. With the sound of a gunshot, her sister rushed to the scene and used a spray gun to end Kim's life of crime. At the end of the film, the family embraces each other. This is the moment when the men finally find themselves. At last, the family moved back to the old house. This place is far away from the hustle and bustle of the city. The family has even more happy memories. Perhaps this is their real home. This is the end of the film.